one of the questions I was going to ask you was whether you go through moments, crises of insecurity. And oh, sure. Uh, the imposter complex. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Not yeah. you. <laughs> oh, yeah. No kidding. Sure, I do. I mean, I can't do good work without doing new things. Yeah. And so um, I, I have to take risks. And sometimes they really scare me. I've always been a bit in awe of Catherine. I met Catherine when she was interviewing me about slow dance for a journal she was editing about disability art. Catherine was uh, Chief Commissioner of Human Rights in Ontario, and she was very politically active for the rights of people with disabilities in particular. Morning. And now she's found her own voice as a writer, but she's still called upon as a disability advocate. And to welcome Catherine Quincy at the first speaker this morning. I am genetically atypical. <laughs> My profile characterized by a disrupted, mutated, or absent gene on the short arm of chromosome 5. Born just two years after the invention of amniocentesis and therefore before its widespread use in Canada, I am therefore a fugitive from the laws of genetic science. The problem is not that I cannot walk. The problem is that I find myself living in a society which is premised in the most fundamental ways upon the assumption that everyone, or everyone who matters, does walk in that quaint, if rather laborious, biped sort of way. 